Who would have thought? Two and a half months ago, I did my first online video about the clearing. Two and a half months later, here we are in lockdown, and the only thing I can do is make online videos. I go live, or I do one of these where I upload it later on. But it's in this that I realize God's sovereign control. You see, I was praying about it and thinking about it, and a chapter uh, came up from the book of Job. And I just want to read you Job 42. Job uh, 42, this is called Job Responds to the Lord. This is right before he gets his blessings, right before he, um, the Lord blesses him. After everything's been removed out of Job's life, he finally says, I know that you can do anything and no one can stop you. You asked, who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorance? It is I, and I was talking about things I knew nothing about, things far too wonderful for me. You said, listen and I will speak. I have some questions for you and you must answer them. I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said, and I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. <laughs> I think about how ignorant and arrogant we can be sometimes to think that the world revolves around us. When in truth, God is in control. Now we can choose to live in sin or we can choose to be slaves to Christ. I, I pray that we choose to be slaves to Christ. And I know that word is loaded in our country, in our culture, but it means to be bond servants. It means to be a servant of Christ, choosing to serve the one who saved us, who made us, who loves us. We have to make this choice. You have to make this choice. Do you go on day by day, ignoring the one who made you? Or do you embrace him and say thank you and put away the childish things, put to death the sinful nature and be born again into Christ's kingdom. I pray that you will be. I pray that you will be.